Rich Rommelfinger, Director of Physical Therapy here at InMotion OC here in Irvine, California. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about shoulder bursitis. It's a term that's thrown around a lot uh, in uh, doctor's offices and physical therapy offices, and I know many of you have experienced that. Uh, when you are experiencing bursitis or the shoulder pain, you got to understand that the bursitis is really uh, the result of some injury. Uh, and it's important that when you do speak with a physical therapist, that that physical therapist is actually, it will dive down and re find out what the source of that problem was. What was that injury that caused the bursa to flare up? And that's exactly what this is. The bursa, right here, subacromial bursa. When it is pinched or injured uh, for a variety of different reasons, it will swell up and cause a lot of pain. It'll take up more space here in your shoulder. Um, but one of the things uh, we'll do in physical therapy is test your range of motion, your strength, certain motions that you do in order to learn more about the, more about your shoulder and why that bursitis is there. So, uh, you know, before you get to the point where you learn what that problem is or what the, that problem list is for, that's causing bursitis, uh, the best thing you can do is, is ice it uh, on a nightly basis. Uh, more than once a day is okay too. Make sure you use some insulation so you, the ice pack's not right on your skin, but you can place that ice pack uh, with some insulation for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, that'll help reduce some of the inflammation um, until you come in and see the physical therapist and we get to the bottom of this problem. If you'd like to schedule a free screen, click on the link below. We'd love to help you.